Through that time cap, when, while you were sleeping in the cemetery, where was where was your music career at that time? Did you did you were you a recording artist yet? No. Well, the only song I wrote called that time was with Tyrone Downey, mm -hmm. Bob Marley keyboard player, which was Vige to the Bottom of the Sea, winning a sound clash in the Charlotte Temple, 15, 57 Solitaire Road. It was a clash between Flames Discotheque, Crystal Blow, Soul Imperial. Supercat win the clash that night. That was when Supercat crowned, the first crown in a Supercat. That when sh that's when uh, the great Barrington Levy sing his first hit song. And his first hit song was Kali, 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 and my way up to Mobile. Mama sent me out to go buy some Kali. I make a mistake and go buy some Fali. Mama woulda beat me till me dolly, dolly over this Kali. Kali, Kali with the three them one. Mama said she can't take the bush herb again, no. Can't take the bush herb again. Pernana. Per See him, big number one song with you alone with just I killed Bonnie first night. Mm -hmm. That was our song. We were DJing them song. Okay. Lone Ranger took them song him on General Echo. I run away with them because Supercat was a DJ song like Vibes to the Bottom of the Sea. So how, how old were you when you started, Cat? I to DJ? Nine, I was nine years old. Nine? At yeah, nine? I'm giving you a song like Sex Educational Class. I'm going to Summer Till Her Eye Gloss Loss. So, so which one which one give you the big breakout now? What, which song give you the breakout? Well, my first breakout song was Vineyard Party. Mm -hmm. Vineyard Party. Vineyard style, the Vineyard style, the Vineyard style, the Vineyard style, the Classic now. Yeah, the, the, the Vibe to the Bottom of the Sea was the song that gave me my crown in Charlotte Temple. John Steve crowned me in Charlotte Temple when I win the clash. Rankin Trevor was my teacher them time. Rankin Trevor gave me the mic that night and said, um, my selector was known as Budhead, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. <laughs> and we was playing and we reached the three single in the night and it was our time to play the last round. And the selector starts sweating on him nose and ranking show. I said, calm down now, man. What to, well, well, we run out of tune. The man said, run out of tune. We run out of tune. Well, we only have three tune left in The man said, well, if we have three tune left, we run out of tune. I'm mm -hmm. still tune them. Ranking Trevor to the tune, the late great Ranking Trevor, and spin them on the man like a proper cheek yard and say, Watch here. This Delroy Wilson is the tune. Mm. And the Delroy Wilson had to play that night was, You could have run, 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 run till you can't run no more, I'm gonna get you. Dance done. Dance done. And the man's apprentice, where is it? I said, Part two, them dead, you know. And if you're not playing nothing, them still dead. Say. And when the man spin over the part two, me, I'm the vibes to the bottom of the sea. Live? Yes. You're live now on the live, version. Live. It's a live to the vibes to the bottom of the sea. This is one me seat on Sunday Martini. This is one me seat on my black and white TV. Because vibes to the bottom of the sea was an American movie with some soldier in a submarine. And the submarine always getting into problem and itching in the bottom of the sea. And them have to work it out and get it out. And we run forward and I win the clash. Well, Barrington leave, he get an inspiration off of that and next morning Henry Jones allows take him to the studio after him sing Kali and him have the album called Charlotte Temple. That is when Barrington leave, he say, I said I come in from the Charlotte Temple and I come to set a better example. When I smile and you see me pretty dimple, and when I smile don't take it so simple. <laughs> Number one. Mm -hmm. So number today we can call Barton Levy the Jamaican Sunbird. Jamaican Sun. Don't take him simple enough. Barton Levy. Me and him go to school barefoot without shoes. Yeah. Last time I him said Barton Levy. Then you know me. I used to go to school barefoot. He tap it over cat man. Tap it, tap it over. Never see him at Where Where was this cat? What community? Majestic school man out of three mile man. See? Right side of Alberta's them man. Today them call it Cockburn Pen School. Okay. I just went there to visit my school and thing. Yes. And I want to do something for the school. 
Because I see some cook shop on the side of the school, and I don't like how the cook shop them look because I don't like the shop them incorporated with the school. So the shop them can turn inside of the school to turn to sell the school lunch. And at the same time, I have an outside where you can sell some of them factory lunch. I don't want the place to look like a riff raff and thing. So you're going to do something for them? Yes. How, how far did you go in school? I never passed. Fifth grade, and when I went forward, I went to the eighth grade, and I never liked my teacher in eighth grade. She name was Granny Souls, and she just eat lunch and beat you with a cane and drop asleep. <laughs> my greatest teacher, where I know, yeah. in Majestic School, was Miss Christopher and Miss Cohen. Because I went to school six months out of the year, and when I sit for my test, I run third in the test, and my teacher put on the cane for me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, Mr. Maraj, how can you come to school six months out of the year and sit for a test and run? Third in the test. Now, if you come to school, Mr. Maraj, much prominently out of the year, you would be the number one student in the class. You would beat Arthur Lewis and go to stats. So you're a bright kid cat? Yeah. My, my teacher, Miss Christopher, and I ramp with me, man. She met me all all one of my ears and all up one of my foot, man, because mm -hmm. I go run third in the test and my teacher say, Dada, I tap you for come out, tap, 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 tap. And Arthur Lewis, I could have called Mr. Arthur Lewis a white man. You tell me respect, you know. Mm. Go a stats. And when him go a stats and pass him exam, I go look for him then tell Dada, I judge two fire stick. Tell him Mr. New Gingrich, a teacher, stats, you know. So I go look for him, I have two beef over there in the canteen and thing. And so I jump the fence and go and cross the wall. And the children, I say, over the wall, over the wall. So then I said, the art man, still me go check up on the wall of my student then because he's <laughs> like a guardian, the angel. You know? so <laughs> and just make sure say, Mr. Lewis, you alright? I said, well, dear dad, man, I said, watch out. Me just want to know you're proper and a boy, and I'll check you and thing and for my man for me. You At what age that now, Kat? What age was this? Them time I'm about 15 year old. Wow. 16 year old. I said, Mr. Lewis, I just want. He said, Dad, I come go to the canteen, go have lunch. So I said, well, I have two fire stick me up. He said, Dad, I mean, I'm not about that, you know. We are going to have two beef. Why was it so necessary for you to have two fire stick at that time? Well, you see, the politics came down. Yes. And that wasn't something that we want, nor something that the government want. It was something that occurring at the time, and it was on both sides. It was not one-sided time. They have the PLP and they have the GLP, and politics have a way for just find itself at your doorstep, even if you're not involved. And the era that you're living in, you're branded at what? Okay. You're living in. Mm -hmm. If you're living in Tivoli Garden, you're branded as. If you're living in Concrete Jungle, you're branded as. If you're living whether in or not you're neutral. Yeah, even whether if you're or neutral. not you're a part of it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Something we didn't want. Still, we learned this, that politics is a dangerous thing and it have a way of destroying people. And even the government themselves didn't want this. Still, it's a political force that evolved through corruption and the government themselves, they cannot do anything about it because when it starts to rupture, it's like a wildfire getting out of control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people have to be skillful to live through this. Mr. Michael Manley didn't want this. Mr. Edward Siaga didn't want this. Mm -hmm. Today, those people become the best of friends, you know, after the rupture and all those things happen. And we live through it. So those who want to talk this and talk that, they can't talk what they want to talk. Because we went through it and we know what it is. And because of that, we have to find music. Because we have to show the youth, them say, youth man, Another gun. Yes. The gun was something that was a difficult thing. We have to find something that take us away from that. So when you hear them talk about road boy and road boy and road boy, where's a youth? And the gun make we road, you know. We passed through that long time. We use any ability to find music to show that we find a way out. Because most of us would come out of zinc fence laying and out of dirt laying. We couldn't go back home, go buy mama home. We couldn't buy papa shoes. We couldn't send papa no money for no Christmas and all of them things there. It's when we find the music. Oh, you mean? After the break, Cat opens up on family and an iconic sting moment of which he was a part. Before you die, before you die, see the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Me want to reverse. Yes, let me put in the dead. Long time, me kill you tonight. Yeah, when me said, no one.